this, you guys. It's the cushion video we've all been waiting for, where I review to you all of these goddamn cushions. Now this video was supposed to happen a while ago, but you know, I got lazy, more cushions decided to come out, my shopping impulses kicked in. So the collection kind of just continued to grow. But whatever, we're doing it. We're gonna review all these cushions. I'm gonna try to give you a quick review of each one because there's a ton and I should just start now. Now I will say that, um, like as you all know, I have these lights. So um, all these cushions have like high SPF. So the color might not register as like 100% correct on my face. One side of my face where I do swatch it will probably look like white or like, like much brighter than the other side. So please do try to ignore that. Um, it's mostly to show you like the finish and like the coverage and all that, so let's let's start, like now. Let's do it, let's do that. First one is the Etude House Precious Mineral Any Cushion, which is going to like one of the first that I've ever reviewed. I think it was my first cushion. First of all, it runs out super quick. You're gonna have to like dig out from like the sides of the cushion after like a few uses. The coverage is light to medium coverage, but um, the shades are kind of pale, like on the more pale side. I, you know, equate these Etude cushions to like Korean middle school girls that have like the white ass faces and like, and like the dark necks. But y'all know that's me too, so I can't even really complain. It has a natural satin matte finish. By the end of the day, it can start to look kind of cakey and like it's separating like on the skin, especially around this area of the face. This cushion is good for those with people generally good skin that only have a little bit of discoloration that just needs to even out their skin tone because it is, I guess, skin-like, but but um, don't build it up too much because it can start to look cakey. Next is the Nis Free Ampel Intense Cover. Now, do you see how cheap this goddamn packaging is? The words are like scratched off. However, Nis Free did come out with new cushions. Uh, they're like the same cushions, but like in different packaging. Like you can buy uh, different designs for your cushion. The thing is, if you have this, you can't just take this out and put them in there because they, they redesigned this um, refill as well. So it's like smaller and slimmer. That's kind of annoying. I can't just buy a new um, cover for this. And also the mirror is super close to the cushion. So oils from the product will seep up out of the puff and like get onto the mirror and that's really annoying. And so you, every time you use it, you have to like wipe off the oil so you can see yourself in the mirror. Now as for the cushion itself, this is the cover version of the Ampel Intense. I actually don't think the coverage is as high or higher than the original Ampel Intense version. And also I think that the higher coverage, like the change of the formulation, lessens the dewiness that uh, is what I loved about the original formulation. So it's kind of like, a nat depending on like your skin type, it can be anything from like a natural, if you have like di dry skin, to like a more of a dewy finish if you have like normal to oily skin. But yeah, the coverage is more like medium to a little medium high. Uh, as to like, you know, intense coverage as, you know, it claims to be. If you have oily skin, but you're looking to get that like natural dew, like moist look, um, you could use this and just set it with powder and like after a few hours or by the end of the day, you'll have that glow. So here I have the uh, Innisfree Water Glow Cushion. This was released like two years ago or so. Um, and it's supposed to be like a glowy foundation for the summer, but honestly, it's kind of shitty. This is like a weak pussy version of the original version of the Ampel Intense cushion from Innisfree. You can also think of it as like a weaker version of the Ampel Intense cover, like this one. You know, it's designed to give you glow in the summer, um, but it's kind of weak across like all boards. But I guess if you have pretty good skin, but you want to dip your toes into like the dewy waters, um, I guess you can give this a try, but really, waste of time. Next up, I've got the Skin Food Royal Honey Cover Bounce Cushion. Now, I had high hopes for this one because I love the um, Skin Food Royal Honey line and this shit did not disappoint. First of all, I love the smell of it. Oh, it smells like artificial honey, yes. I wanna like eat it, I wanna eat it. It gives pretty decent coverage on first application and it really imparts like a youthful young glow to the skin like you just put moisturizer on. It adheres really well to the skin but doesn't separate easily and it layers beautifully so you can like build up the coverage if you need to. It can go from like a medium to medium full. But you have to be careful though. If you have fine lines around your face, um, you might wanna set those areas with powder because it is so moist and it's got that honey property to it. It can, you know, just like other dewy foundation run the risk of like settling in those lines. So this is definitely one of my top faves for dewy skin alongside the original Innisfree Ampula Intense um, cushion. Uh, I just prefer this one because it has that honey smell. <laughs> and the packaging is cuter, right? Right? Like, what? what is this though? What's a goon to a goblin? The Face Shop CC Cushion Ultra Moist. Now, um, this is the original packaging. I just put it in my cacao 
friends one. This is actually a refill, which I rarely do because I tend not to finish my cushions because I have so many of them. But I freaking love this cushion. I love it. I actually randomly came across this one. Um, it was actually an impulse purchase because y'all know I ain't about that face shop life anymore. Upon first application, as you can see, you get a good coverage, but it leaves the skin really moist looking. Obviously not the best for oily skin, but if you have dry skin or, or normal skin or you're willing to powder your face, then you can do that. The formulation adheres well to the skin. It really sticks close. And I really love the puff as well. It's really firm, but soft and it applies the product well. This is actually one of the cheaper um, cushions, but it performs definitely like a high-end product, I feel. And also the shade that I have, Natural Beige, is uh, pretty good for my skin tone. It's quite yellow, but it's still brightening at the same time for me. So yeah, love this one. This one, because this is what it looks like when you buy it. So this is the IOP Air Cushion XP, uh, the cover formulation. Uh, this is a really good everyday cushion. The coverage is medium, but it does build well. But what I find really unique about this cushion is that after you apply it and you let it set for a little bit, it kind of like disappears from your skin, but not in the sense that it's like gone and you can see redness from your skin again. It's like the formulation wraps itself around your skin and creates this film of beautiful coverage, it glides over pores, fine lines, wrinkles, textural issues, and all sorts of things like that. I was talking to my good friend Sunny, you know, Sunny Tahe or Sunny Day about IOPIC cushions and we both agree this shit is where it's at. And we both agree that the skin just really takes this well. I love this one and I highly recommend it if you're into like slightly more higher end um, cushions. Um, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is one of the, IOPIC is like one of the original cushions. Um, if not the first one, so yeah, IOPE, yes, yes, yes. All right, and this one is the IOPE Air Cushion XP Intense Cover, uh, the Intense Cover version. This is actually different packaging. Um, it was a case that was available for like a limited time a while ago, and I really like the holographic finish. This is the same exact one as the one I just talked about, but just slightly higher coverage. It still, you know, envelops the skin in that film-like um, way. So if you're looking for more coverage or you have slightly more problematic skin, then I definitely go with this one. This is the IOPE Men Air Cushion. I had really high hopes for this one since it was actually my first IOPE cushion. And I actually did buy several refills of this and I did buy this for some of my guy friends. But I just can't help but feel that it's quite underwhelming to be honest. As you can see, it's um, targeted more towards men so the color isn't as pale as a lot of other you know, regular cushions can be. I feel like it has the same sort of formulation as the um, Air Cushion XP but just less coverage, like way less coverage. Um, you can build it up to kind of like medium coverage but you end up using so much product that you'll run out of it in like a week or two. Any regular cushion user knows that struggle of trying to like dig in the sides to get every last bit out of there. That's why I bought like two or three freaking refills of this so. So who is this good for? Maybe people with pretty decent skin that don't need too much coverage. If you have slightly oilier skin because it is like a demi matte finish. And also if you're a boy that's super concerned about retaining his masculinity, this would be good for you I guess because it has the word men on it just to keep your insecurities in check. I do have to say though that the packaging is amazing this like brushed stainless steel um, cover but I do feel it's a bit expensive for like the quality of the product that you're getting and honestly I just give this one a pass. Sorry I okay. The XTM Style Om All-in-One Cushion. I actually made a review about their skincare a long ass time, a long ass time ago, and I promised that I would review this, but I never got around to it, sorry. And honestly, I was like struggling to get every last bit out of this just for the swatch alone because I'd run out of this a long time ago. I brought this on my trip with me to the Philippines that I made a vlog about. Um, I use this one every day while I was there. I was like flipping the cushion and shit. Just because this is a men's cushion, I'm gonna kind of compare it to the IOP men one. Um, the coverage is about the same, but just slightly better. The color is, uh, like the other one, the color is a little bit deeper than the other cushions, you know, because apparently men are darker than women. And when I brought this with me uh, to the Philippines, it lasted pretty well in the heat and humidity. The thing is though, I think this is only available in Korea online and at all of Young stores. So honestly, I don't know why I'm reviewing this. And it also doesn't come with uh, refills. So you gotta, you actually have to buy the whole thing again, um, but it does come with like a cleansing foam with it. So I guess that's a bonus. And I will also add that um, the puff is kind of annoying because I feel like you can only fit two fingers in it. 
Mm -hmm. All right, the Vant 365 Air Touch CC Cushion. First of all, do you see how wet this goddamn puff is? Do you see that? It's like the oils like seeped up through the puff like over to the other side. And do you hear that? That's disgusting. Ugh. Also, the mirror is so damn small. Like, what can you what can you do with that? Could you contour like one nostril with that shit? That's so small. Okay, so this cushion was actually sent to me by Fan Three Six Five via Instagram, and um, I love Fan Three Six Five skincare. Their skincare is awesome. Uh, very basic skincare, but very effective. But this cushion is shit. I hate it. Ugh. First of all, the color is pale as hell. Like it's white. It's white like the fucking cushion itself, the packaging. It's like sunscreen in a cushion. Like, is that what I asked for? Is that what I asked for? Did I want, did, was I asking for, for sunscreen? And because it's such light coverage, you're sitting there like trying to add more and more and more. But by doing that, you're just making your face look paler and paler and paler. And cake here because the formulation is really tacky and like, it doesn't really settle with the skin, so you're like building on top of it and just it's gonna end up looking gross. And that formulation is so damn watery, like even like dipping your finger into it, all this shit comes out. And I noticed that if you put it on your skin and like something like you tear up maybe for some odd reason and the tear runs down your face, it's gonna leave a trail. Like it comes off that easily. Or so much as you like touch your face a little bit, that area that you put the cushion, it's like, it's gonna disappear. You're gonna have a fingerprint in your face. So who would I actually recommend this to? People with very, very pale skin that have pretty decent skin, just need to cover a bit of redness um, and want a bit of glow to it. If any of you have heard about that Korean um, model runway show, uh, Devil's Runway, um, Vant365 uh, sponsored the show and they kept advertising this shit like throughout the whole season and every time there's like a commercial break It would show this stuff and I'm like van 365. Mm -mm, no ma'am. No And there was even an episode where one of they had to like create a commercial for this and one of the male models even said Oh, isn't this isn't this a little too pale for me? Mm-hmm. If that shit ended up in the episode, you know what's up the L'Oreal true match um, Lumi cushion now, I think it's important to include this one because this is a cushion available stateside or in Western countries, even though it was made in Korea. And I'm also going to lump this review with the version that came out in Korea, which I literally believe, which I actually believe is the exact same cushion, but just with a sticker on it. Here, I took a picture for you. Hilaire. So this cushion makes for a really great everyday base. It's quick, it's effortless, it blends really easily, and it is true match. Um, the original foundation I used to have, and I, that one, that stuff blended so beautifully. And it really does look undetectable on the skin. Now the coverage isn't as high as the original true match foundation, like the liquid version. So I do have to use this with concealer on things like spots and blemishes, but in terms of evening out the skin, I think it's really great. I, I do think it is a bonus that it comes in uh, several shades. I mean, it is available in uh, America and stuff um, and in other countries so you know not like Korea it comes in more than two or three shades um, and it is organized by neutral warm and uh, cool undertones so that really helps so if you're looking for like a cushion that's easier to access if you have a deeper skin tone or something or you want something that's good for every day I, I do recommend this one I like this one I will say though that I feel like I'm running out of this quite quickly so uh, for drugstore it's not that cheap it's on more of like the more expensive side of drugstore um, in my mind. Uh, so if you're gonna have to keep buying this thing, cause it, there is no refills, um, you, you, you wanna keep that in mind. Oh Lord, H plus cushion. So this is from Troy Pill and it's actually not really well known, but I got it from the skincare Hesa, like company that um, I've been working with for the past few months. Uh, about past half year or so uh, that have been helping me improve my skin. It gives off a really light, fresh finish with a pretty decent coverage. But what's different about this one compared to any other bases is that it's actually 99% skincare and only 1% makeup. So it's great for people that are worried about um, makeup breaking them out. It's only gonna work to help heal your skin. I use this after uh, every time I go to get the treatment done, the Troy Peel treatment. My face won't be super red as compared to like getting like laser, fractal laser done but um, putting this over it helps give me some of that coverage but it is skincare so it's taking care of my skin and healing it it is on the pricier side but honestly for what it is and what it does um, I'd be willing to even pay 50,000 won for this I do like to use this in tandem with like the BB cream version um, when I'm having like a breakout from testing out so many different products or if my skin is freaking out using this and like the regular BB cream version really uh, helps to turn back my skin 
and uh, get it back to like its normal state. I highly recommend this one if your skin tone can fit the shade. Um, it only comes in one, unfortunately. But the thing is, because it's skincare, you can actually put your moisturizer on and then you can put this on and then you can use your regular um, foundation or like powder or something that will help match, uh, help it match your skin tone. It'll help separate your base from your skin and while, you know, while it's under your foundation, it's help healing the skin. This is, so this is totally in my top faves. Gonna have this at all times with me. Skin Food Vita Water Pore Fit Cushion Bottle. Oh. So this one is kind of interesting. It came out last year in all of the hype of like the cushion bottles that were like in aerosol form. Um, the things that like cooling makeup and all that, that seems to come out every year in Korea. If you want a much more in-depth review of this, I do have a video dedicated to it up on my channel. You can go watch that, I'll link it in the down bar because I will always forget the arrow. If I remember, I'll put it here as well. But to sum it up, it gives the skin a really healthy, soft, matte finish. Um, like it says on here, it does cover up the pores. And fine lines, if I may add. When you apply it, it does have like a really cooling sensation that lasts like, what, four seconds? So I guess that helps in like warmer weathers or climates. The coverage is actually pretty good. Um, just go in, if you have like major blemishes, you can go in with like a concealer. My only gripe, I suppose, would be the presentation. Now it comes in this pretty decent, or pretty cool looking bottle, but it's big and bulky. And also like the puff is so freaking tiny. Like you're sitting there trying to, like you see that? I can only put two fingers in there. You're sitting there like trying to build coverage for like 10 minutes and this freaking mirror, like what can you even see with that? You can, you have enough room to see like what, one pimple? But anyway, I thought it would be like a really gimmicky product, uh, but it surprisingly works pretty well and I actually really like this. So if you have oily or combo skin, I definitely recommend this one, especially for the summer. Next is the Too Cool For School Dino Plots La Ola. Now this isn't really a cushion because it's actually more of like a BB balm foundation, cream foundation sort of deal. Um, but I did have to include it because it is in like in a similar format with like the mirror, you know, like the puff and all that. Now I was completely blown away by this product because not only is it a fantastic like, you know, base product, but it comes with a compartment in the bottom that has a concealer, um, a highlighter, and a cheek and lip product. So it's a whole face in one easy to take with you sort of package. Now the balm itself that's inside um, is a really fantastic product. It can take you from a light to a full coverage very easily and with little effort and it gives you like this really natural moist look to the skin which y'all know I'm about that life. I'm about that life. The concealer itself um, it's a really great color. It actually matches the uh, base products. You don't have to worry about finding one that will match or you don't have to worry about finding a separate concealer and it's great for concealing under eyes if this wasn't enough which I'm sure should be enough or for like blemishes where you feel like concealer will like easily come off because it's kind of like a hard cream formulation. The highlight really works in synergy with the BB Balm and it melts into the skin giving not a really glittery like shimmery glow but more of like a very you know enhanced wet look to the skin and it's super smooth and like blends effortlessly like it blends itself away. Now I don't um use the blush color but here is um a sort of swatch for you it's a really pale um kind of like baby pink peony sort of color it has that same great emollient um texture like the bb bomb does so it all works in synergy with like the rest of these products overall i think this is quite an underrated product i feel like i never really see this on you know the youtubes so um, I really highly recommend this one. I know there's an actual cushion in the Dino Plots line, but I don't have that because I love this one so much. My only gripe, I guess, would be the sponge itself. Now the sponge is pretty good, except the square itself, like the square shape, um, it makes it hard to get in like under the eye sometimes and around you know certain hard to reach places. So you're gonna have to work a little bit harder to apply the product evenly, but that's just like a small thing. But other than that, A plus, A plus. All right, now we've got the Sam Eco Soul Onchonsu BB Cake. Now this one, like the last one, is also like a BB Bomb Cake Cream Foundation sort of dealio. I also have a dedicated review for this one as well, which I will link down below if you're interested in that and here if I remember. Now comparing it to the Too Cool For School one, this one is slightly thicker in texture but with like less dew. It's supposed to release some like water droplets or like moisture or some shit when you apply it, I don't know. But honestly, I think that the dew that um, it says that it has comes much later as you're wearing the product throughout the day. And the coverage itself, um, you, I don't even remember what I said in the review that I made of this, but 
um, applying it again and remembering, remembering. You'd assume that because it's like a cream foundation, you'd be able to build up the coverage really well, um, but it's like to an extent. I feel like it doesn't really cover spots that well and like it just doesn't build that way. Because if you keep putting it on, by the time you think you're covering the blemishes, that shit is cakey as hell. You can like... So um, I think I said that this was really good in the review, but if I had to choose between this one and the Too Cool For School one, I'd go with the Too Cool For School one. Now I think one of the other main reasons I got this was because Shiny was like sponsoring it at the time. So I was like, oh shit, gotta have it. And also I think that the color that I got is kind of off. This is the palest shade. And you know, the lighting in them stores, they be off as hell, making you think the wrong sorts of things. Um, so that is probably just my fault. Overall, it's okay. I'm kind of indifferent about it now, but uh, there's my review. There's my two cents. Almost there guys, almost there. Now this is the Clio Kill Cover Cushion. Now this is recommended to me by the mom of one of the kids that I take care of at work. Um, hi Kathy. <laughs> and I instantly fell in love with it upon first application. It's actually not as full coverage as it claims to be. It's more of like a medium-ish coverage, but I do like how smoothing it looks and um, it really glides over pores and fine lines. And it is quite long wearing, so it's good for people that live in very hot or humid climates or have uh, oilier skin. However, despite being all day wear, um, it remains skin like looking all day. I, I don't, never need to touch this up. Cause I tend to associate long wearing cushions or high coverage cushions or bases or foundations or whatever with like dry looking skin. Like as you wear it throughout the day, it just starts to, you know, it might settle into fine lines, crack a little bit, just look gross by the end of the day. So despite not being super full coverage, um, I do like how it definitely looks like skin and also the pack, I love the packaging, it's quite substantial. Um, I think it's mostly because of like the glass and I feel like there's quite a bit of product in it. Um, I use this every day for a while, but I still feel like I have quite a bit, which is not really a thing that I have with cushions because I feel like I use them up pretty quickly. But let me point out that as I was recording the swatch, the fucking puff broke. Mm -mm, no ma'am, Cleo, no ma'am. It might've just been because I'm quite rough with my cushions and I've had, I've, you know, I've been using this for a while, but honestly you might you know, just have an extra puff on hand. Also one last thing, um, I don't know what it is, but I think it's because the puff is so squishy that it never, there's like a latch thing, but it never closes. I don't know if that's just mine or what. Cause if you take out the puff, look. It closes like it's okay, but this puff though, mm -mm. So here's one that just came into my life recently, but I love. It's the Pony Effect Everlasting Cushion Foundation. And this one is in nude beige. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? Pony slayed with the packaging on this one. A lot of the packaging, oh, look at this. I just, I love having it in my makeup bag. It looks so good. Yes. And also the brushes. Yes! But as for the product itself, it is definitely 100% top shelf right there. This reminds me a lot of the Clio one, but actually high coverage. It's long wearing. A little goes a long way, as you can see from like the little bit that I used on just one side of my face, it already covered it. It definitely looks like skin. It has an elasticity that I like for products to have, like for base products. Um, it's kind of like the IOPE one where like you put it on your skin and like it creates that film on your skin. And they actually have a pretty okay range of colors. There are five shades, there's two yellow undertone shades, and there's like one really pale shade, which is pretty good for like a, co a Korean brand because you know them shits come in like one, two, three colors. I have the deepest shade, Nude Beige, which is a yellow undertone and you know, it's still on like the lighter side, but I'm just throwing that out there. And one more thing is the puff that comes with it. Um, this puff was designed by Pony herself and it's called like the dough puff or something. And it's designed to be twice as dense as compared to um, air, an air puff cushion. And it really does feel like dough. It makes the application feel luxurious and soft and um, it keeps it from absorbing too much product. So the product is going on your skin rather than into the sponge. Um, you can kind of think of this as like a portable version of a sponge like this. I like that. I like that. So this product in general makes for a great everyday base, but also um, great for going out. And also this, this magnetic closure. Ooh, luxury. Diamonds are forever. All right, guys, here we are coming to the end. This is last, but definitely not least. It is a cult favorite in Korea. The April Skin Cushion. So many people have asked me to review this cushion as well as some of my uh, beauty blogger friends. So here's my two cents. I really didn't want to give in to the hype, but I gave in to the hype. 
my friend Sheldon was visiting Korea at the time and um, we went to Olive Young and Myeongdong together and we swatched it together because we saw it. We thought it was only available online, but we found it. My first reaction was how smoothing that shit was. It's smoothing. The coverage is absolutely beautiful, but it makes the skin look super smoothed out. I'm actually wearing this one today. This I forgot to say that that's what I'm wearing right now. It's kind of like if you use the smoothing feature on Facetune, that's the skin that this shit gives you. Also, you don't really need to press hard on the cushion to like get product out. A little does go a long way. I can definitely see this lasting longer than like other cushions tend to in general. Now there's two versions. There's the black one and then there's this white one. Oh. I think the main difference is that the black one's kind of just a very soft and velvety finish and this one is more of like a dewy glowy um, base. Now you'd think by the end of the day, this would look really gross and oily, but for me, I think it, uh, looks exactly like the same as when I first put it on in the morning, but it just looks more glowy by the end of the day. It's not separated, it's not cracked, it's not settled to fine lines or anything. And on an everyday basis, I don't really set this with powder, so I think that's fantastic. So for oily skins, I definitely recommend the black one, and for more dry skins, the um, white one. Either way, they're both gorgeous, love them. This is a little bit pricey, but you know what? If you're in Korea, you can get this shit, or if you order online, you won't regret it. Also, I'm gonna throw it out there. This is the best mirror that I've seen on a cushion. It's like really big and I feel like you can see my whole face in it. Cause you know, like this shit is not flying with me. It is not okay. This tiny pimple mirror life, I am not about that life. I reviewed all the cushions for you. Now I'm gonna give you my top picks. I didn't really wanna limit myself to like top five or whatever. I'm just gonna give you like my recommendations. Now my top picks for oily skin would be the Kill Cover um, from Clio and the Pony Effect um, Everlasting Cushion Foundation. Um, these are definitely good for people that have oily skin or live in hot, humid weather locations. So there's that. My top picks for dewy skin, um, the Skin Food Royal Honey uh, Cover Bounce Cushion. Um, really affordable, but a uh, really great finish for uh, those dry skins, doesn't look cracked or whatever. Same way with the um, Face Shop one. Not a cushion, but the Dido Plots La Ola one. Simply for its innovation, the quality of the BB cream inside, and, and you get this shit, so that's a bonus. And also my picks for just like regular overall, um, the IOPE ones. Uh, this is the cover and this is the intense cover one. They're both really great. Uh, just choose one depending on how much coverage you need. The April Skin Magic Snow Cushion White. Um, beautiful, beautiful product. I love it. I'm really glad that I picked this up. So this is a great um, one. If you have dry skin, the black one for oily skin. And then the Troy Peel H Plus Cushion. Like I said, 99% skincare, 1% makeup, but it's got that coverage, girl, it's got that coverage. But it's helping heal your skin at the same time, so this is definitely in my top shelf along with these other ones. We've come to the end of the video, finally. I'm sorry this took so long. I really hope that you found it useful. Now, girl, there's other cushions that are coming out. There's the new Etude House ones, which I didn't want to include because I haven't tested them out enough. Um, this one's specifically for acne prone skin and this one is like dries to powder as soon as it touches your skin. You'll be getting separate videos for these ones but make sure you check the description box down below because I will link all of the cushions um, if you're interested in purchasing any of them. If you want to see more of me make sure you follow my Instagram and my Snapchat both of which I'll link down below and yeah I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!